back in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and a lot of people have been asking me if it's too good as it was before. So I said we can just explore the whole day together and let me show you why I really love this city. You know, every time I get out from my room, I can see this beautiful temple over here. Arika, Arika. I like I like the sunglasses. Every morning I get to say hi to the owners of this apartment. It's in the Santa Tam area, it's called Pikis. I really like this place because the Thai people who run them, like the Thai, are like the nicest people ever. Yeah. Jose, yeah. what do you think about Chiang Mai becoming alive again? Yeah, now so much better. Yeah, yeah, okay. Everything uh, coming back. And it's so easy to rent a scooter here. This is the best way to move around the city. I love the coffee scene in Chiang Mai. There's a lot of old and new coffee shops. I just came to one of the classics called Ristredo. They have won tons of international awards. And they have a new ones around. And they are now called Rosteri, which is like the same brand, just different name. So co-working is still a very, very common thing here in Chiang Mai, locally. And I'm going to one of my favorite co-working spots, which is called Pond Space. <laughs> what do you like about Pond Space? Yeah, two, two things. The, the garden, and it's like good memories for me, because it's like working as I work here in, in Chiang Mai for a long time. We have our pictures here. Also here. The coffee is really good. The people inside the co-working is really focused. Javi, Javi, are you hungry? Yes, like I uh, have to, to maintain this one big, you know. Kapuka, <laughs> Javi, uh, what do you get? Thai breakfast. Thai <laughs> breakfast. And I order fried cashew nuts. What do you think about the food? Really, really good, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> what I like is that we can go for lunch and then leave our stuff, and nobody takes our stuff, no? It's very safety. This is it. It's coming to the working. Take one of these. And do that. It's too much for me. Okay, I'm done working for today. Abby, you? No, I have a meeting. I am a good mentor, people. <laughs> And if you're in Chiang Mai, of course, you have to see some of the many temples you can find all around. This is just one very close to my apartment, just on the way back from the co-working. It just has a big Buddha and this freaking beautiful temple there. They're all so beautiful. And this is the view that I get every single day of the sunset. It's so beautiful. And the top over there, that's Toi Sutep, one of the main temples to check out in Chiang Mai. So wow. So locally, the night markets are still a thing. There's so many around Chiang Mai, and I'm going to one of my favorites. It's a little bit touristic. I really like the design of the whole market. It's called Fluan Rudi. You have your own wallet here in the market. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> Can I get cow soy vegetarian? Can I have a mango sticky rice? Like even though it's vegetarian, it's still good, no? Yeah. I love mushrooms. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> and to end up the night, I'm going to this weekly meetup in a bar. I'm just gonna meet all the digital nomads, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hey hey. So overall, I'm really happy to be back in Chiang Mai and seeing how active is becoming again. Of course, this is not everything that I'm gonna do in Chiang Mai. It's gonna be a full video about it very soon. You're gonna check the links in the description, but hope this gives you a very good glance. So see you in the next one. Ciao.